As the film begins, we are told the first story, the king of Long Trellis loved his queen deeply. He wished for his queen's perpetual happiness. Unfortunately, the queen will never have children, and she remained saddened by the thought of it. The king would summon physicians from the kingdom to treat the queen. However, nobody could ever comprehend or assist them. The king then summons the circus performers to the castle one day, so that they may amuse the queen and she may enjoy herself. However, one of the female circus performers was pregnant. After seeing her, the queen gets more upset. She becomes increasingly angry and begins to destroy property, until she returns to the room the king used to be in love with the queen, and he promised her he would do anything for her. The following day, a tall, slender, elderly individual arrives at the castle. Who claims to be able to assist in this matter? The king informs him that many others have visited and made identical claims, but no one could ever help us, how could you make such a claim? He explains to him that this is possible, the only question is how far you can go to have this child. Listening to him, they reply, up to the last limit. The old man says that he knows how nature works, the entire world is stable, and he says that if you want a life, you must also sacrifice one life so that everything remains in balance and nothing can become unbalanced. They both agree on it. The king was given the task of capturing the sea creature. After elimination, his heart would be used to cure the lady who would cook the heart must be pure and single. The queen would eat that and become pregnant afterward. As they wanted the child, the king went out to chase the sea creature, and he gets the target in one of the rivers, who was a very big, white-colored monster. The king goes into the water to hunt that monster, and when that monster is asleep, the king becomes successful. Though he succeeds in elimination, during the fight he gets injured. He becomes so injured that he dies on the spot, but before that, he had drawn the heart out of that monster. And the queen herself covers that heart in the cloth and comes back to the castle. One of their maids was single and pure, and she was ordered to cook that for the queen. But during cooking, she gets wired, and she also becomes pregnant. And when that heart was cooked, the queen ate it, and the same thing happened as the old man had predicted. Finally, the queen becomes pregnant, and exactly at the same time, the queen and her maid give birth to their children, both of those were sons, the queen names her son Elias, and the maid names her son Jonah, then the movie was shown after 16 years, by which time those kids were grown up, the queen was very happy with her son, like if she were given a new life, those two kids were born on the same day and were different from normal children, all of their hair was white, which represented the sea monster, and they both looked the same, they seemed like twins, they were very much closer to each other, they used to catch up together, they had a friendship, but the queen never liked their friendship, she used to explain to her son that you are the prince, and he can't be friends with the maid's son, but Elias never listened to her mother and used to meet up, and they had the ability to breathe underwater, and to hide, they used to go to the same river where that monster was killed, the queen warns her maid that if she does not stop her son, she will move her and her child out of the kingdom, but still, they never cared and used to meet up, one day, they will cross the limit. Jonah takes off Elias' clothes and goes to the queen, and queen never recognized whether he was his son or not, but she remained suspicious. When she finds out the truth, she decides to move Elias out of the kingdom. Elias tries to stop him, but he never stops. Jonah cuts the tree down with his knife, and the water starts to flow. Jonah tells Elias that as long as the water is pure, he should understand that I'm alive. When you realize that your life is in danger, he quickly moves away from the situation. So many months passed, and Elias used to check that water when it became red. Then he realizes that Jonah's life is endangered and that something must be wrong, and he moves out of the kingdom without telling her mother so as to find Jonah. After searching a lot, he found Jonah's home. Jonah had married a girl. As both of them looked the same, they recognized him as Jonah. Then he comes to know that Jonah went to the jungle five days ago and didn't return. Elias also goes out to find Jonah, and the queen is very worried about her son. She finds her from the whole kingdom, but nobody could find him. She approaches the old man again, but he insists that if she wants her son back, she must sacrifice her life. She agrees with him. Jonah was caught in the jungle and injured as well. Then the flying monster attacks him and tries to kill him. After listening to Jonah's shouting, Elias finds him and kills the monster with his sword. But that flying monster was his own mother, and he was unaware that he killed his own mother. But this is what was bargained for. Life for life. Jonah's life is saved, and Elias becomes the king of the kingdom, and the story ends here. Story number two is related to the king and the old lady. He was a very lecherous person who was always surrounded by girls. He used to drink all the time, but he couldn't find her yet, the one he could accept by heart and marry her. At that place, 
Two old women used to live, they barely came out of their homes, and they were unmarried too. This was obvious, they would die there alone, but their voices were very sweet, their voices didn't seem old. One morning, one of them was singing, the king listens to her voice, the king was inspired by the voice, and he followed it, but the old woman returns home, and the king becomes more curious to see her, he thinks of her as a beautiful girl who is shy around her, one of them was named Dora, and the other was Ima, Dora was very cunning and greedy, Ima was straightforward, and when Dora sees that the king is at the doorstep, her heart fills with greed that their luck may change now, they had spent their whole life alone otherwise, they asked the king to come after one week from inside the house, then I will show you one of my body parts, and the king will think as if he has found love, but he was well aware that they were two elderly ladies, their skin also appeared to be very old, but they try so hard that their fingers may look young, Dora put some herbs over her fingers, but they still seem to be the fingers of an old lady, and she starts crying, but on the other hand, Ima, who had put her finger in her mouth for many days, thought her finger was looking quite good, and today her expectations were exceeded, and the king had to visit her, but Dora snapped Ima's finger instead of her own, now the king was not able to hold back his emotions, and they both knew if the king had known about this act, he would definitely hang them, she put a bet on it and says she will visit the castle at midnight, but it must be dark out there, all the candlelight should be blown out, king agrees, now Ima tightens up her body with the glue so that it may look like a young girl's body, at midnight, one of the guards from the temple came to pick her up, and there was darkness in the palace, and when, in the morning, he realizes that he spent a night with the old lady, he becomes angry, and throws Dora out of the castle's window, but Dora survives in the jungle, and magic happens to her, and a witch comes there, as we proceed further, Dora gets changed into a young lady with long hair, the next day, the king visits the jungle for hunting and falls in love with Dora at first sight, he brings her to his temple and decides to make her queen, Dora never knew how she turned into a young girl, but she remembered her sister, Ima, she invites her to her wedding, but Ima never thinks that her sister has been turned into a young girl, and soon she will become a queen, the dress Dora sent to her sister was very costly, Emma wears that dress and comes to the wedding, where Dora tells her everything, and she wishes to become as young as her sister, when Ima inquired about how she became black, she replied in a joking way that she dragged my old skin out, but Ima considers it to be truth and visits Iron Smith and promises him to reward necklace and a costly dress, if he removes her skin, that Iron Smith was more stupid than her, he takes her to the jungle and removes all her skin, that was a pretty disturbing scene, and she returned to the same situation, it was obvious that she would die, and she does, on the other hand, Ima's magic doesn't last long, she starts to grow old, when she realizes that she is getting old, she runs away from home, she returns to her real age, and becomes the old lady completely, and this story ended up sadly here, Kingdom is also featured in story number 3, the king's nature was wired, his queen passed away long ago, and Violet was his daughter, but still, he never married, he never loved her daughter by heart, one day the king sees a parasitic insect on his hand that suckers blood, the king likes him very much, he makes him suck his blood, he keeps it in a glass box, he allows him to suck his blood every day, as time passes, that insect grows up, on the other hand, Violet, who was still young, always dreamed of a prince, but the king was irresponsible, and he never cared about that, he was much happier with that parasite, who was now grown up, one day the parasite becomes ill and dies, the king drags all his skin out and tells her daughter that the time has come to find a husband for her, he says I'm going to arrange a competition, and whoever wins will get you, Violet is happy about that but also a little upset because she wanted to find a husband on her own, but still, she agrees with the king's decision, an announcement was made throughout the kingdom, the king displays that skin in his palace, the one who says, whose skin is this? will win, many people try, but no one answers properly, because that insect never grew that old, a wired person appears in the palace, and anyone could become frightened after seeing him, he also wants to participate in the competition, and the king finally allows him to, that animal looking person smells the skin and tells which insect this skin belongs to, Violet, who gets scared, comes to the palace top to commit suicide, but the king explains that I can't break my promise, now that this is your fate, you should accept it, Violet tries to explain to her father, what kind of father are you? You are giving your daughter to an ugly person, I'm queen. But the king gives his daughter to that ugly person, he takes Violet very far into the mountains, and Violet cries for many days, and when he goes out hunting, she sees another lady on a nearby mountain, she seeks help from him, 
She tells her that she herself is a queen and that one monster has kept her over here, but they were far away from each other, and she couldn't help her, then she calls her son, and they help her with a rope, but suddenly that person appears over there and goes toward them with the help of the rope, they succeed in cutting the rope, but he attacks them and kills everyone except Violet, he sees Violet anxiously, and she hugs him, and his anger goes away, when that devil makes her sit on his shoulder, Violet cleverly cuts her neck, the devil perishes there, then she returns her gaze to the kingdom, where his father became ill as a result of that insect, Violet puts his head full of blood in front of her, King was very sad about her decision, he had to die soon, Violet becomes a brave girl and becomes the queen after her father, the story ends here, and the movie is finished.